Hello, this is a GMAT question from gmatquestions.org. We do not need to read the question, it's uh, you know, pretty long, you can see it here, we really don't need to read it. What we need to do is just rewrite uh, this equation here, I wouldn't call it an equation, this uh, expression. So uh, 2 plus 2 plus 2 squared, 3 times. Plus two to the power of four. Okay. Now this looks scary. Too many twos here. But don't worry. I mean, we can uh, be able to uh, to do this question uh, the, the easy way. Okay. Uh, some of you may be tempted to uh, just say four here, four, and keep adding. You may actually uh, solve the questions that way. I would not quite recommend it for this question, but if you have no other way of doing this question, uh, I'll just use a tactic, basically um, forcing yourself into the question, basically, you know, and it does work sometimes, okay? But uh, we're going to use the powers of two to solve this question. As you can see, the answer choices give you uh, the powers, uh, are expressed in terms of the powers of two, okay? What we need to do here, the 2 plus 2, we know is 4, right? But uh, instead of writing 4, we're going to write 2 squared, because 4 is 2 squared. Now, having said that, uh, this we have 3 of these, 2 squared. So let's just let's write right now, plus 3 times 2 squared. Okay, there are 3 of them. 4... 2 to the power of 4, we also have 3 of these. So, it's going to give us 3 times 2 to the power of 4. And finally, plus 3 times 2 to the power of 6. Okay? Now, 2 to the power, I mean, 2 square plus 3 times 2 square. What does it give us? We have one apple here plus 3 apple. Normally, it should give us 4 apple, right? One of these and 3 of these. So, it should be 4 times 2 squared. And don't worry, we're gonna in the next step, we're going to change this 4 to 2 squared. And uh, at this point, I'm going to leave this alone. I mean, I can rewrite it, but I wouldn't do so. I won't waste my time rewriting it, okay? Don't do that. Just put this. And this 2, 4, going to be 2 squared. And 2 squared times 2 squared is 2 to the power of 4. Maybe some of you may need to see this, okay? I don't know. 2 to the power of 4. Actually, sorry about that. It's a squared. Made a mistake. Okay. And uh, plus the same thing, okay? And uh, this is going to give us now 2 to the power of 4. Because 2 squared times 2 squared, if you know exponents, you're going to add uh, the exponents here, okay? And this is going to give us 2 to the power of 4. Okay, review your exponent if you don't understand what I'm doing here. And we're going to rewrite now this thing. This is going to be plus 3 times 2 to the power of 2, which is right there. Actually, 3 times 2 to the power of 4. Sorry about that, the confusion. This is this one right here because we already dealt with this 2 here. It's going to be 3 times 2 to the power of 4 plus 3 times 2 to the power of 6. Okay? Now, here again, we have 1 apple plus 3 apple, 2 to the power of 4 here and here again. So we're going to do the same thing we just did. It's going to give us 4 times 2 to the power of 4 plus 3 times 2 to the power 6. I can write this because it doesn't take time. Okay? We're almost there. We're almost there. So, I will not do this again. You know, I don't want to waste any time. This 4 is equal to 2 squared. So, 2 squared times 2 to the power 4 is just 2 to the power 6. Okay? Plus 3 times 2 to the power 6. It's like we're repeating the same thing over and over again. I'm sure you see the pattern. We keep, uh, you know, uh, 
uh, ending with the same pattern, with the same, you know, thing. And here we have one apple plus three apples. Two to the power six is the apple. So we're going to have four times two to the power six. Now, four again is two squared. Two squared times, so this is going to give us two to the power eight. Okay, to the power eight there. Okay, so the final answer, it looks like, is two to the power eight. Great. We are able to solve the question. We are able to see what's happening here, you know, really, with regard to two, how when we solve one part, it's really going to blend into the, the, the next part, you know, easily by using the, uh, the, the, the rules of exponents. It looks like the correct answer is D. So we're going to write that down. D is the correct answer. I hope it wasn't too bad for you. For those of you who just did this, uh, you know, the uh, with, with brute force, you know, brute force. It means just going for it without having to, you know, make yourself crazy with all these tools. Maybe you're uncomfortable with exponents, even though I do recommend you do know the rules of exponent. Absolutely. In, in that case, if you do, you know, 4 here plus 4 plus 4 and here 2 to the power of plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 64 plus 64 plus 64, you're going to actually end up uh, finding that this whole thing is going to equal to 256. 256. And 256 happens to be 2 to the power 8. Okay? 2 to the power 8. So just know that. Uh, I can write it down here. 2 to the power 8 is the same as 256. Okay, just to help you out for those of you who want to do it the other way. Thank you for watching. See you in the next question.